Hey guys, welcome to AFC Game by Game, where today I'm going to be doing the third instalment of Arsenal's summer transfer news. Firstly, I'm going to brush over the players that look set to be destined to join Arsenal. First of all, you've got Gonzalo Higuain. I'm really hoping that we're going to get this guy. I've mentioned him a couple of times in my previous videos. It looks very likely that we're going to get this guy with a supposed 23 million fee agreement with Real Madrid. His father has also stated that he wants to see his son playing in the Premier League and that negotiations are very advanced between Arsenal and Madrid. Really hoping we can get this guy. It looks very likely he's going to be an Arsenal player and I'm really glad that we are going to be getting Higuain. It has been prolonged for so long now and I think very uh, a good majority of Arsenal fans are very frustrated that we haven't got Higuain yet after it's been prolonged for so long, over weeks and weeks and days. And it's been about a month now that we've been linked with Higuain. It's getting really annoying and I really wish that they'd just announced it ASAP. So going through the uh, paper talk, first player linked with Arsenal is Luis Suarez. Can't say enough how much I don't want this guy at Arsenal. He's going to cost us about 35 to 40 million. He's about 25, 26 years old. I'm not going to deny it. He's a very prolific goal scorer. He's done extremely well with Liverpool. But his discipline is just appalling. The incident with Ivanovic was enough to prove to me that he's just not disciplined enough for the Premier League. Um, fair enough, he's a very good player in the Premier League. But you can't be going around doing what he's doing. And why would we bid on a player who's going to have a 10 match ban next season? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, 40 million on a player that's not going to play about a quarter of the games just seems ridiculous to me. Um, it doesn't look likely that we're going to get him. It looks like a bit like a betting scam. That's rumours that are flying around because betting has been suspended on him. I think it's a betting scam, but I'm not sure how likely that would be. Either way, it looks very unlikely that we're going to get him. It's just a stupid little rumour. I was really hoping that uh, it's not true. The player that I'm hoping we do get is Condogbia of Sevilla. This guy will be available for 8 to 10 million, but the problem is Sevilla don't want to sell him. He is very valuable to their squad, and many other teams like Chelsea, Man United, and supposedly Napoli are in for this guy. Admittedly, that is hard competition, especially when teams like Chelsea and Man United can pretty much guarantee that guy a cup. We can't exactly do that just yet, and we haven't really proven in the transfer market yet that we can like have the ambition to go and... Uh, get a cup because we haven't bought Higuain yet it's just rumours yet uh, until we've like pretty much proven that we want to be ambitious then I'm not sure how we can attract these kind of players so we've got to bring a big name signing in like Higuain but anyway back to Condogbia he's a defensive midfielder someone that would fit into our squad very well but he reminds me very much of Coquelin he's a different player to Coquelin his playing style but the thing is I think he'd get loaned out quite a bit because he is very young 20 years old he's also French so Wenger would like him but I can't see him getting breaking into the first team straight away, despite um, proving to be a very good player with Seville. I think we need someone proven. Someone like Lars Bender would be great. Someone like Fellaini, Wanyama. Someone like that would be really great in that position. Although it looks like Wanyama is going to be joining Southampton, which realistically is a massive blow because I'd love that guy at Arsenal. But um, yeah, I'm really hoping that we can go out there and buy a proper defensive midfielder and Kondogbio is just one of those options. An unlikely name to join Arsenal is Lewis Nani of Man United. For about 8.5 million, I'd snap on this guy. I'm not saying I like the guy in particular, but for footballing reasons and for 8.5 million, I'd definitely go for this guy. He's a better player than Jovino, so he could be deployed on that left flag and definitely do a better than job than Jovino has done this year. Uh, so, yeah, I'd definitely go for Lewis Nani. We all know much about him. He's a very good player in the Premier League. Maybe he hasn't had so many chances with Man United this season, but that's probably because their formation has been changing quite a bit. And the arrival of Van Persie has been keeping players out of the squad. But Nani is a player that I'd love to see at Arsenal. I can't really see it happening though because that rumour has died down. It was quite a while back but it's starting to heat up again. I'm not sure how much truth there is in this rumour. It is just rumours at the moment. If we could get this guy out I'd be very pleased and I'd really like to see him in an Arsenal shirt. So they're the players that could be coming into Arsenal. Now let's look at the players that look destined to be leaving the club. The next player that could be leaving Arsenal is Nicholas Bender and I'm glad to see the back of this guy's attitude. Is appalling and his arrogance is pretty much disgusting. I'm not saying he's had a really bad time with Arsenal, but he is Deadwood, and I'm glad that we are going to be seeing the back of him if he does go to Frankfurt. Looks very likely he's going to be going there. His agent has stated that he has been in Frankfurt negotiating talks with the team. And if we could get four million for him, I'd be very happy, and I'm just really glad that we're going to see the back of him. Like I've said a couple of times now, but he's a player that we really need to get rid of. He is a massive piece of Deadwood at the club. The next confirmed player that's leaving Arsenal is Vito Minone. Very sad this guy's leaving. I really love Minone. I thought he was an excellent player this season, filling in for Fabianski and Chesney. Given the times he's uh, played before, 
It's a very big ask for a guy like him, considering he's barely played for Arsenal before. He, feel, he did a fantastic job. He had some excellent games early on in the season when he was filling in for Chesney and Fabianski. Really glad that he's going to be getting the game time he deserves at Sunderland because he's not going to be getting much game time at Arsenal if we do bring in someone like Julio Cesar. And Fabianski and Chesney have both had pretty decent seasons, so I can't get him, get, see him getting above those players. Really glad that he's going to be getting game time at Sunderland, and I'm really glad that we've got a decent price of £2 million for him. Another confirmed player that will be leaving the club is Francis Coquelin. Um, yeah, admittedly, he's not going to get the playing time that he maybe wants at Arsenal this term. And you've got to say, fair enough, if he wants playing time, then you've got to say, alright, you've got to go on a season-long loan. And he's gone to Freiburg on a loan for a year, and you'd hope they'd gain some experience. He's a decent player. He's had some decent performances this season when he's played. I'm really hoping that he'll be a player for the future. I can see him being a part of that midfield. He is a very good defensive-minded player. So I definitely can see him playing in that defensive midfield role in a couple of years' time. I reckon he could be a big part of our future. He really needs to prove himself, though. Maybe if he can be really consistent with uh, Freiburg, then maybe he'll prove something to Wenger and prove that he deserves that spot. I'm also hearing that... He's not having the best of times in training. His attitude is a bit poor, which is understandable if he's not getting the game time that he maybe wants. So this way he's going to be getting the game time he wants and hopefully he'll come back a better player. The final player that will be leaving Arsenal this term is Johan de Giroud, who is on his way to Hamburg. Very happy this guy has finally left the club, despite being on a loan, but Hamburg do have the option to buy him for £1.7 million. Glad to see him go, really, because he wasn't going to get chances at Arsenal and he hasn't really proved himself. People say he needs a run of games to reprove his worth. That could be the case and maybe that he really will prove his worth at Hamburg. Either way, I wish him all the best for the future and I hope he has a good career at Hamburg. Okay guys, well that's been the third instalment of my Arsenal Summer Transfer News. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more Arsenal videos. And also, if you could follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page, that'd be great guys. Alright, thanks for watching this. I'll see you later.